everyone. On this fine Thursday, I think, right? It's Wednesday or Thursday, something like that. Um, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of my latest rehab home that I just purchased here in Ogden. It's uh, about 100 years old and it's awesome. So first things first, getting a brand new roof all the way down to the plywood. The original, someone along the line, this home had the wood shake shingles and you're never supposed to put asphalt shingles over that. And they did, and there's like three layers. So it's all coming off and we're putting on an entire new roof with new rain gutters. The exterior actually is gonna be really cool. I'm going to redo all the exterior and put like red siding or blue siding, something that just makes it pop. So it's gonna look really, really nice from the street, the curb appeal. So that's what I'm doing on the exterior. New exterior, new roof, soft fascia, etc. Now I will walk you through. Cool little porch here. And I love these old homes, man. Like they're just so cool. The character and whatnot. Um, here's the front room, entertainment area, etc. Clearly we're gonna do a new laminate. Um, I, I'm not, so I love the original trim. That's like the eight inch trim. So I will probably remove the upper trim. Not sure yet, but I'm, I love the base on the, on the bottom. So we're leaving that. Um, new lights clearly in here. Not sure if I'm gonna do can lights yet. It depends on the access, of course, to the attic. So we'll see on that. Um, here we have a nice bedroom. The home already has new dual pane windows, so we don't have to worry about that. Love the old trim, like I said. That's all staying. So yeah, this room's just gonna be carpet, paint, just clean it up. And then here we have the bathroom. New vanity, mirrors, lights, new tile, surround. Tub's great, we'll leave the tub, but everything else will be replaced in here. Clean up the bathroom a little bit. That's the laundry right there. It's kind of cool. I have to show you something. Keep this in your mind, this area here. And I'll explain why here in a minute. Here's the kitchen. This is going to get a massive uh, switcheroo here. The stove is going to come here where the dishwasher is. I'm gonna put the microwave on top dishwasher here next to it. All new cabinets. The drop ceiling's getting removed and we're gonna have all new cabinets in the kitchen. All new backsplash, new sink, blah, blah, blah. So that way you'll have a lot more cabinet space. This will be the large cabinet that's like 16 wide. That's like six feet, seven feet tall on the end. And this will really, really spruce up this kitchen. Having the stove here, microwave, dishwasher, cabinet space, and then, you know, all new countertops and whatnot. So this will get changed. I'm looking at having a little, like, uh, uh, a bar installed, because the kitchen's not huge. I mean, you can put a table here, but you're gonna be constantly walking around the table. So I'm looking at actually going off of this line, which is about 16 inches, and doing like uh, uh, bar stools here, like three bar stools and like a little sitting area for food. That way it's kind of a built-in and it won't take away from the rest of the kitchen space and you can have your meals there. That's probably what I'll do. Um, if I do one, I might even pull it out to here and then to here, just to give at least room for like four people to eat will be the best because a table here just isn't gonna work. I can definitely put in a big or uh, semi-large island here like I did at my Harrison home but I still feel this kitchen's a little too small for that so I'm going to do a built-in uh, table so that's what's gonna happen here in the kitchen totally redone uh, new lights gonna make it look cool because I'm gonna do some you know old school lights and and colors here so I'll let you know what color I'll probably do like a uh, green cabinets or possibly yellow make it look cool you know and then we have another bedroom here. Nothing weird. It's just going to be uh, 
carpet and paint in here, figure out what I'm gonna do with this trim. I can maybe do a different color here, like do like my white, white, gray. I'm not sure. I still need to figure it out, but nice bright rooms here. Then we have a separate access here into the home, which is kind of cool. I'll walk outside here in a minute. I'm gonna watch my step. Here's another bedroom. So here's my plan, guys. Tell me what you think, if you think I'm onto something. Open this wall up here, make it a hallway. Wall off this. You'll come in and this will be a staircase that goes down into the basement. Because right now it's clearly a storage room, but it's not really that easy to access. And that way the rest of this can be a small bedroom or it can be an office. I think I would use this as a home office because you'll have a nice stairway here with an open wall here. You have a nice windows and I would do this as an office. But if somebody needs three bedrooms, they will have to use this as a bedroom too, which is fine. So I'm going to go down now and show you the dungeon. Here we go. Okay. Welcome to the dungeon. It's awesome. Central air unit's only a year old. Furnace, I mean, central air, water heater. It's all new. Pretty cool. So down here, I've got some, some ideas. Um, can't find the light switches. I don't know where my light switches are. Let's see if I can turn it on on my phone. I don't know how, but long story short, you've got room for two windows down here. I'll show you on the outside of the home. You can't really see. Sorry, I don't know how to turn on my flash while I'm in the middle of a video. But you've got window there that's boarded up, window there that's boarded up. I'm gonna put in nice, big, bright windows and finish this up down here because this could be an awesome storage room or separate bedroom or office or playroom or media room. There's so many options. So we're gonna, we're going to spruce this up down here. Um, and then, man, I wish I had, knew how to have my light on. Check that out, guys. There's, there's like a hundred plus year old stairs right there. If I can get around here. This used to have stairs. You can't really see. I'll take some pictures and edit the video and put a couple pictures in here. This used to have stairs and it ended up right at the top of where that laundry is now. So I wanna keep the laundry upstairs because then it's all main level living. So these stairs are not going to be used anymore. Clearly they're not used. Um, that way people can still have laundry on the main level. And then here's the windows that I'm gonna put in, make it nice and bright, I'll put in tons of cam lights in here, make it really, really nice. And uh, this will be the new staircase that comes down into this room and it'll be all finished off, ceiling will be all finished, everything will be redone. So that you can walk down without falling and breaking a leg, have real stairs, real bright lights, windows, and uh, my plan is to, this will kind of be like your utility room where I'm at right now. I'm gonna wall off and put a door in here, and this will all be finished space. This will be, area for, like I said, office, media room, storage, et cetera, et cetera. This will all be fully finished all the way around. So you're going to get quite a bit of extra usage out of this home in square footage, which is awesome. So yeah, that's what we have here. Let me get up the stairs now. One second. Okay. I told my rehab guys, when you come here, do not walk into this home or this room without looking first. That would be terrible. So it'd be cool though to have real, like I said, this wall will be gone. Walk through real nice stairs with wood banisters going down. This door will be gone clearly. And this will be a little hangout area or bedroom if you needed it. Now let's go outside. The backyard is really small. Getting some ideas on what I want to do here. I think this is the whole backyard. It's okay. 
people that don't want yard care, this is legit. I think I'll do a white vinyl fence, seven footer all the way around. And I won't need one there clearly because that's the neighbors. Or I could put one right next to it. Continue it on, follow the seven foot fence all the way to the end. And then I'll put a gate right here. That way, if people have dogs or kids, they can have them in the backyard and they'll be hidden and out of sight, out of mind. So, yeah, this is it. Oh, I'll go this way and show you. This is where those big windows will be, right here and right here, because it's already made for that. For whatever reason, they just turned it into a storage room and I'm gonna make it nice and bright and full of, wit and full of light down there. So, there's my latest home. This is gonna be really cool with the transformation, especially with the kitchen and the basement. That's gonna be the biggest areas. Everything else is just gonna be cleaned up. This is all brand new. Like I said, this door, I'm gonna close it now before I forget. You walk straight in, this will be walled off. Turn around, go down the stairs, and uh, built-in table here. And this is where the old stairs came out. They came up on an angle, so if we were in the basement, we'd be standing right here. The stairs would have been like super steep. So I'm just leaving the laundry here because it makes more sense to have laundry right here on the main level. I don't want people to have to go up and down stairs unless they want to uh, for laundry. So that's what we have, guys. I will keep you updated along the way. And uh, I have a couple more homes in the works. I'm going to check out another home in Roy today that I might purchase and then another home in Layton. So I'm going to be a busy boy. I have like three homes right now and I could have uh, you know, five of them here before too long. So I love what I do. I love helping people, love rehabbing homes and, uh, I'll keep you updated. Thanks again for all the support, all the love and it's go time. Have a good day. Everyone.